Hi, this is Thomas from Apex Game Tools. In this video we're going to look at how you can respond to messages sent by units navigating around your scene. So for that we will, um, as you can see, we've set up a basic scene with a ground and a unit and now we'll look into the scripting involved in this. So going to the code editor. As you can see I've created a small model behavior um, and in order to consume messages of any kind um, what I need to do is I need to implement an interface called iHandleMessage. As you can see this is a generic interface so I need to specify which type of message I'm interested in handling and in this case what we want to do is we want to handle the unit navigation message. Now you can create your own messages and handle them in the exact same way but for now we're just going to handle this type of message. As you can see the implementation is simple, it's just a single method which accepts this message as um, its argument and this message allows you to know what happened uh, it has this event code which is what hacked actually happened um, and then it has a destination that you know so you can know the unit's current destination the unit itself, this entity game object so you can um, get a reference to the unit uh, and you can get off any um, of uh, the components on that unit if you want to you know, navigate with it again or if you want to manipulate it in any other way. And there are a few others like whether or not this has been handled by another handler or and if the unit has some pending waypoints. For this simple example I'm just going to drag in some text here, a small snippet. So this will actually switch on the event code and as you can see there are a few events. Uh, there are actually more than this. Um, there's a total of six or so as you can see. I just use these three. So as you can see we have destination reached, waypoint reached and if it has stopped because its destination got blocked. Now all of these just do a debug log. Okay so almost ready. Uh, in order to uh, now we handle this, these messages but we need to actually sign up to the message bus to tell that we're interested in this kind of message. So to do that we will sign up in on enable and we will sign off again in um, on disable or subscribe and unsubscribe. So as you can see this is simply done by using the games uh, services and the message bus on there and then you can subscribe and unsubscribe. In this case uh, since we're just handling one message you can just use this simpler form. If you handle multiple types of messages you will need to subscribe to each of them um, in turn and you will actually need to supply um, the typed argument as this is a generic method as well as you can see from um, the signature. Okay, um, that's all you need to do. Uh, so let's get back into Unity and see this in action. So since this is not a, a, a unit centric behavior we just created, I'm just going to put this onto my game world. I'm going to start and I'm going to send my unit around a few waypoints. Um, and as you can see, whenever it reaches its waypoints, it will say one message and once it reaches its destination in just a second it will send another message. Obviously the use of this should be something more advanced um, but now you know how to do it. Okay so that was all about reacting to messages from navigating units.